Alice, that means you're it now. Oh, but that's not fair. <gasps> hey, look at the sky. Whoa. What is it? Oh. Grandpa Ted, you see? Oh, my gosh. Huh? That's the Trucksville hot air balloon, and it got loose and is being carried away by the wind. Someone must mm -hmm. go and catch it and attach it back to where it was. Grandpa Ted, this is a mission for us, isn't it? You're right, Alex. Everyone to truck control. Woohoo! According to my radar, the hot air balloon has just landed in the Trucksville forest. That's great news! We'll just need to pack it into our trailers and then bring it back! <laughs> I'm afraid it won't be that easy, Alice. The hot air balloon is too big to be transported by truck. It will need to be brought back to Trucksville through the air. Through the air? And how will we do that? Kim, the scientist, is already setting up at the spot. I called her so that she can help uh -huh. you to fly. I'm programming the launch pad. Oh, now you're off no. to Trucksville forest! Oh, Yahoo! Yahoo! Four, three, two, one, mini trucks, go! Huh. Hello, Hello, Kim! Hello there, mini trucks. Are you ready to fix the hot air balloon? Yep, mm. we just need to blow up the balloon. Isn't that right? Exactly right, Alex. And naturally, to blow up the hot air balloon, we will need some hot air. A bit like from our breath? Yes, Jeremy. So if we all blow together in this ball, that means it just might work? You can try that, sure. <gasps> it's working! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> yes, it is true that your breath is warm, but to blow up a hot air balloon, we will need air that is a lot hotter than that. Like air as hot as fire? Precisely, Lisa. Oh. You can see that just over the pod, there's a burner. For it to work, it needs gas, but it has just run out. Do you know where we can find some more? Hmm. I can see that Amy the Mechanic's workshop is really close by. Oh, yeah. She surely must have some gas. Alice, can you guide us? Sure, let's go. <laughs> oh, oh. Hello, Hello, Amy. Amy. Hello there, Mini Trucks. What can I do for you today? We are in the middle of helping Kim the scientist repair the Trucksville hot air balloon. But now we just need some gas for the burner. Do you have any? I'll go and check right now. Wait for me here. Uh -huh. I did think that I had a few cans of gas somewhere. You're in luck because these are my last. Good luck with fixing the hot air balloon. Thank, Thank you, Amy. Amy. Well done, Mini Trucks. You found some gas. All we need now is to pour it into the burner. Super! We just need to get it off the ground is all. Yes, but not straight away. A hot air balloon follows the wind. If we want to bring it back to its rightful place, we must wait for the wind to blow in the right direction. Huh? And in which direction is the wind blowing now? For the moment, it's blowing in the direction of the snowy mountain, Jeremy. Oh, that's the opposite direction of Trucksville. Exactly right. And that's the reason we must wait before blowing up the balloon. <gasps> Alice, no! no! <laughs> Lucky for you, I have exactly what you need. Drive into my tune-up tunnel. Woohoo! This is perfect. Super! And with these as our guides, we can direct her easily. I will guide you all the way to Trucksville. Thank you, Alice. About turn right. Woohoo! tie it down. Yep, there's a rope just for that in the pod. Amy, can you help us? Right away. Bravo, Bravo Mini trucks. trucks! Yes, the hot air balloon has been saved. You all deserve the cup called the Masters of the Air. Yay! So cool! I just hope this one won't fly away. <laughs> <laughs>
Grandpa's head, can't you see? Uh... That's great! Cool idea, Alice! I'm gonna do a truck that can pull super lasers! Wait for me, Alex, and I'll help! <clears throat> Hi there, many trucks! What are you doing in my garden? Oh, we're just trying to draw, Grandpa Ted! As you see, I chose to draw you! Oh, and it's lovely, Alice! And if you really like to draw mini trucks, then I can really help you become talented and actual artists. Let's go to truck control! Yeah! yeah! Since you love to draw, I will put you in charge of decorating the Trucksville Center Square. You'll be aided with a brand new paint mod. Yippee! But to succeed, you must be sure to listen carefully to Leah, the talented artist's instruction. Oh. She's the one who drew the first comic ever about Super Truck. So cool! I'm going to program the launch pad. Now be creative, Mini Trucks! Four, three, two, one, mini trucks, go! Hi there, mini trucks. I hear that your grandpa has sent you to help me out. Yes! I have already sketched the outline of Super Truck and you will color it in. Do you feel up to the challenge in honor of our great Trucksville hero? Yeah, it's up to us. I'm gonna paint his bodywork in red! That's a good idea, Alex! And I'm going to paint the windshield in yellow like me! <laughs> Super! I'm gonna do the wheels blue! Um, just be careful not to... Oh, the green suits him so well! Oh no, my graffiti! Wait, hold on! Hey, would you stop? You're drawing on my part! Plus, you're drawing so badly! It's not true! I'm pretty good, actually! Don't panic, because I'll rearrange that! Some green! <laughs> oh, good heavens, Mini Trucks! You must be meticulous! If not, then we won't recognize the picture! Look right here. Hmm. Uh, yes, it's true. We could have done better. Dear Mini Trucks, tell me, what's wrong with this? Well, we mustn't go over the lines. We must be careful with one another. Exactly, yeah! But you are very lucky since I brought some solvent. Some solvents? Yes, that's right. It's a paint remover. Allow me to fill up your units. Okay, Lisa. Now use your glasses and tell us what we're supposed to do. It's working. Alex, can you take care of the upper part, please? Jeremy, the middle. And Alice, around the wheels. Bravo! Now that everything is clean, I can redraw the picture. Admire the artist! Hmm? Ah! Oh. Wow! So cool! I have never seen a truck draw so quickly in my life! Now do you understand what you're supposed to do, Mini Trucks? <laughs> we must concentrate! And follow the outline of the drawing very carefully! Let's do this! I'll do the eyelids, and you do the body! Super! I promise to be careful this time and not go over the lines! And I am going to paint the eyes and the decor! I'm gonna paint the propulsion unit, and that way I don't get in your way! Yahoo! Woohoo! Yahoo! Yahoo! Wow! Have you already finished the work? Yep, they're just so good, these mini trucks. I see the mural is a real success. The Trucksville Town Center Square is much prettier this way. In fact, for your work, I think you all deserve the Lucky Painter's oh, Cup. Yeah. <laughs> and now we can paint everywhere! Yeah, like real truck art pro painters! <laughs> <laughs>
On every Halloween, we give out candy to those who frightened us. But I don't have any candy. Boo! Ah! <laughs> if you want to scare as well as I do and collect loads of candy, then I know someone who can help you learn how to. Now everyone to truck control! Yippee! Let's get that candy! <laughs> yeah! Pirate Sam will teach you what you need so you're good at scaring. He's a real practical joker, as you know. He can even scare oh. a ghost. <laughs> I'm preparing the launch pad now to send you over to him. As long as no one's scared me, am I? Yeah, let's roll! Four, three, two, one, mini truck, go! Sam the Pirate, here we are! But where is he, Sam? Ho, ho, ho! <gasps> here are my little scary sailors for Halloween. Sam! Go on and take these hats, mini trucks. This evening you will be my helpful crew. All right then, now that I'm your captain, please allow me to explain a couple things. To scare others, it mostly requires teamwork. Here's the plan. Jeremy and Alice, you'll destabilize the target. Then, Lisa and Alex, you'll surprise her, which will scare her. Okay, but who is our target? Follow me there and you'll soon find out. Uh, uh, wow, uh, so he even uh, trains so hard and at night. So, are you ready, mini trucks? And do you remember the plan? Aye, aye, aye Captain! Captain. <laughs> huh? What? Ah! Boo! Ah! Happy Ooh! Halloween! Ah! Oh my word, Mini Trucks! I have never been so scared! For that, you deserve some candy! Mm. Well, as your captain, I get to keep the treasure! Oh! Okay, Captain! All right, enough about the treasure now. I have to settle a matter with my old friend, Detective Truck. Hmm, I'm thinking the thief must have escaped that way. Surely there must be a clue. Oh. Go discreetly Ooh. over there and move that crate. But what is this mystery? Oh, oh, oh. Boo! Oh, my goodness! Oh, it's you, Mini Trucks. I must give you some candy for that scare, I suppose. Give me the candy, because after all, I am the captain. Fine, then here you go, you bully. When are we going to get our own candy? You will when you become captains, obviously. Wait for me here. I'm going to hide my treasure. I think his rules are so unfair. So I have a plan. Hmm, I'm going to have a candy feast. <laughs> but where are the mini trucks? Hello? Hello? Oh my gosh. But what am I going to say to Ted after I've lost his grandkids? <laughs> we scared you, so now you must give us candy. But, but, uh... <laughs> you got me this time, mini trucks. I'll go get the candy bag to give it to you. Yippee! My goodness, your candy bag is so gigantic. I see you've even managed to scare Sam. No, no, my candy. But for scaring me, you do deserve it, you little band of pirates. Bravo, mini trucks. But be careful. You should never go too far with pranking others. Yes, we know, Grandpa Ted. Now that you understand that for your work, I'm going to hand you the Masters of Scare Cup. Yeah!
Watch out, mini trucks. Have you ever seen this road sign before? A what sign? That big red stop sign. We've just avoided a collision here. You must respect the highway code at all times. The highway code? But what's that? There are rules to follow when driving on the road. By doing this, it avoids unnecessary accidents. And I know exactly who can teach you. Everyone to truck control. Woohoo! <sighs> Dear Mini Truck, your new mission of the day is to learn the safe highway code. I bet it's pretty easy. Hey, not so fast. Put on your helmets and head for downtown. <gasps> Tony Truck is waiting. Yippee! Mini trucks. Are you ready to discover the secrets of the highway code? Yes! I've set up a course for you to follow, so the goal is to finish without having an accident. That's easy! Three, two, one, and oh, you're up! Power. Hey! Oh! Hey! 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 We didn't succeed. I don't understand. I was going so fast. <laughs> Alex, the aim is not to go fast, but to arrive without having an accident. Do you have any idea what went wrong back there? Maybe we just weren't aware of the road signs. Exactly right. You must follow all of the road signs. For example, when you see a stop sign, you must stop for three seconds and look right, and then look left to see if anybody's coming, and you must wait for them. Say no more! Three, two, one, go! Thank you, Alex. You're welcome. This stop sign is for me, so I'm gonna stop. Thank you, Jeremy. Yippee! Hey, now that's a funny looking stop sign there. But it's different, so I think I can still go. Hey, I don't know this road sign. But that big arrow seems to tell me that I can go. Oh, no! What do we do now? Do you go backwards or do I? What sort of sign did you have on your side? Uh, it was a big red circle with a white line across it. And you? A big white arrow on a blue background. That big red sign means no entry. It's an important sign to understand. It indicates that you can't take that road. Whereas the sign which has the big white arrow in the blue background says it's a one-way street. It's also important to know. It indicates that the road can only be taken in one direction. Then I'll just back up then. So this time, no errors. We must follow the blue sign with the white arrow. Oh yeah, we're gonna make it through this challenge in no time. Calculating trajectory. So let's go. Hey, what are you doing, Lisa? But you are the one going the wrong way, Alex. Tony, can you help us, please? We can't agree on this one. Alex and Lisa, in roundabouts, the rule is quite simple, as indicated on the road signs that you have just passed. You must always go in an anti-clockwise direction and be sure to pay attention to who has the right of way. Hmm. Now, it is your turn to try. All right, we did it! We arrived at the same time! And without any accidents! Well, nearly! <laughs> I'm glad to say that you can all drive safely. Bravo, mm -hmm. Mini Trucks! For mm -hmm. your work, you have earned the Highway Code Trophy! Yes! And now we will never go the wrong way again!
Silence me! What is all that noise you're making? Oh, Grandpa Ted! Um, it's our new song that we wrote! <laughs> Honestly, I think you could do with some practice. Lucky Ooh. for you, I know exactly who could teach you to play nicely. Everyone to truck control! Yahoo! <laughs> Dear Mini Truck, today's mission is to learn to play a tune with musicality. It is a long learning process which demands a lot of perseverance. So then we're gonna learn by ourselves. No, it's Leah the artist who will give you the first music lesson. Did you know that at your age she had already done many concerts? Wow! Now stand by, Mini Trucks, and you're off! Four, three, two, one, mini trucks, go! Hello, hello, hi there, mini trucks. Hello, hello Leah. Leah. Okay, so can you show me what you're all capable of? Yep, I'm gonna try to play the drums. And I'll try the piano. you're making. Let me show you with a little demonstration. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Wow! So then, Mini Trucks, do you want to know how to actually make music? Me! I know! The notes! C, D, E, F, G, A, B! That's also how we can dance! <laughs> You're getting closer. Music is made of a sweet melody and a rhythm, and it is composed in such a way to be pleasing to the ears. It must be pleasing, but how do we do that? Let's start by getting organized. Jeremy and Lisa on the piano, Alice and Alex on the percussion. Okay! Get in place. I'm ready! Me too! I'm ready for the cymbals! To be organized, I really think we should all start at the exact same time, right? Listen to this, Leah. And one, and two, and one, two, three, four! Oh, brother, why can't we get to make great music? I thought we were so organized just now. It's because you must listen to the others play while you do. Lisa, you're going to use these two keys and you will follow the rhythm. Good. Jeremy, you are going to play these five keys right here, like this. That's it! Oh, this is so great! And that's not all. So, Alice, you'll do this. Woohoo! This is just fun! And for the cherry on the cake, the symbols! Alex, you follow this rhythm. Sound. That's very impressive for beginners. Grandpa Ted! Hello there, Mini Trucks. So tell me, how has your music lesson been today with Leah? Well, we were just about to show you. Are you ready? And one, and two, and one, two, three, four! Happy birthday, Grandpa Ted! <laughs> Thank you, dear Mini Trucks. What a nice surprise. I wasn't expecting such a nice gift for your musicianship. You've earned the Great Musician's Cup. Wow! We can now play loads of other tunes together. Yeah, but next time, let's play some rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs>
the work is now done! Hi there, mini trucks! And what are you doing? We're just tidying up! After last night's hurricane, the yard is such a huge mess as you can see! <laughs> Making a pile is not exactly the best method for tidying up! I have the perfect mission for you! Everyone to truck control! Dear Mini Trucks, as you know, the hurricane has affected the whole area of Truckville, and Amy, the mechanic's workshop, has been turned upside down. Oh no, but what is she gonna do for her clients who need her? Exactly. You are going to help clear up all the tools that have been thrown around by the hurricane. So then, I will equip you with the mechanical arm modules and send you off to her workshop. Woohoo! Okay, so here we go to Amy's rescue! Are you ready, Mini Trucks? Yes! Four, three, two, one, mini trucks, go! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Hello there, mini trucks. Hello, Hello, Amy. Oh, it's so true that the hurricane has really messed up all your tools. Yes, I know. And my next client arrives in ten minutes. I can't have them come to my workshop with this mess. Are you ready to help me tidy it up? Yes! <laughs> no, not like that, Alice. So that I can work properly, all my tools must be in their respective storing place. This box contains screwdrivers, this one contains hammers, and this one nuts and bolts. Oh. Now your turn. Okay, let's do this! Screwdriver! Huh. Come on, come on! Hey! Come on, quickly! We must go faster! But the first client is going to arrive soon! Fast, fast, fast! Stop! Alex, but the tools were put in all the wrong places! Amy said it was important for her work that all the tools should be put in their proper places! Oh no! to redo it all. But we're never going to finish on time. I might just have a plan, but we must work together as a team. Okay, this is what we're going to do, guys. Is everyone in place? Yup. Me too. I'm ready. Amy, how much longer do we have? 20 seconds. Okay, mini trucks, go. Hammers and nuts. Screwdrivers. Screwdrivers. More nuts. Hammers. Screwdrivers, hammers, and nuts. And nuts. More nuts. Screwdrivers, hammers. Come on, you all. We must hurry up. Now watch out, mini trucks. Quick, Jeremy. Quick. Five. Hammer, screwdriver, four. And nuts. Three. Hammer, two. Screwdriver, one. All finished. Yay! All finished. finished. Wow. It's all put away. We make such a great team. Yep, that's for sure. Thank you. My workshop is now perfectly tidy. That was close. Here's the first client. Grandpa's head. Wow. Hey, mini trucks. I say this is some great tidying up you've done here. I could not have done better. I'm so proud of you. And because of your work, you deserve the spring clean cup. We will need to put this one away. <laughs> <laughs>